ladies and gentlemen, I managed to test Conduit of the Celestial Smith River Monk on the War Within beta and I must say it feels pretty good. In this video we're going to talk about how it actually affects the gameplay. Unlike other Hero 3s, in this one you gain a brand new skill called Celestial Conduit which doesn't replace existing skills. However, keep in mind that several monk skills have been removed from the game or made passive so you actually have much less buttons to press and adding a new button doesn't feel that bad. The skill itself is a short channel that does a ton of healing and a little bit of damage to everyone around you and it comes at the price of 90 seconds cooldown. I must say that pressing this button feels really really good even without talking about anything else that it brings to the table with the other hero talents. It is a little bit longer cooldown than anything else that we used to with Monk apart from Revival but it's so powerful that it actually fits the gameplay style quite nicely. Before we talk about the other hero talents that come along with it, we first have to mention some of the changes that the Monk class got as a whole in its healing tree. The first thing to mention is that Essence Font is gone. Completely. It's not a talent, it's not a base skill, it's out of the game. So from that perspective, actually having an extra button now basically replaces that spell from before. Teachings of the Monastery is now base and some of the skills that we had before are made passive. The most noticeable change is that Refreshing Jade Wind is now passively summoned once you press your Thunder Focus T. That's actually relevant to some of the hero talents that we're going to mention next and the other changes include the Chi Wave and Zen Pools being passive. I tried both of them and honestly both of them are really really disappointing. Zenpools doesn't do damage anymore, it's only healing but the healing that it does is very negligible unless you play around it but there's no point really to do that. And while two waves triggering automatically every 15 seconds sounds cool, at the end of the day it didn't do almost any damage and any healing so probably Chi Burst is going to be the pick here. All of this is going to shuffle a little bit the talent points in the Mist River tree which is not necessarily a bad thing and having said that now let's look into the rest of the hero talents. Some of the hero talents are actually quite boring for example increasing the duration of your refreshing jade wind but there are four that are actually pretty cool. All of them call one of the four celestials to come and help you in some way. For example, Tiger Poem and Vivify have a chance to call Zwen to come help you and do some physical damage to your enemies and heal your allies for a little bit. This is actually quite a nice addition to your damage, it ended up doing about 5-6% of my total damage in the runs that I've done, although converting that into healing wasn't that impressive. However, if you consider that every time that happens then Nizao shows up and reduces the cast time of your next enveloping mist that also gives a shield to everybody in your party, these shields actually ended up doing quite some work and when you add the healing from Zwen as well, they both contributed to the total of about 5-6% overall healing as well, which is quite nice. And while we need single target spells to trigger Zwen and Nizao, that's not the case for Chiji. He comes when you press your spinning crane kick or the refreshing jade wind which is basically the thunder focus T and again brings a little bit of extra healing in those AoE situations. And last but not least we have the good old Elon who comes when you cast the Shaylon's gift and he reduces your cooldown time of some of your spells for 8 seconds by 75% and this list of spells includes life cocoon and thunder focus T which means that you can get them back sooner. Now you've probably noticed that all four Celestials are passively connected to the buttons that you're pressing all of the time. That brings quite a nice bonus to both your damage and healing and although you have no direct control of when it's going to happen, at least in most cases, they are there all the time and they're passively making you more powerful. This does not change your playstyle, you're getting more powerful passively all the time and you get a new big cooldown button that you can press in dire situations. Now I'll have a separate video talking about the Master of Harmony but comparing the two hero talent specs, 
Conduit of the Celestials definitely feels better as the other Hilo Darren spec also gives you some passive bonuses, healing and damage but first they don't feel that powerful and second you don't have this big cooldown button that you can press in those extra dire situations. And that's not all because we haven't talked about the capstone talent yet. It's called Unity Within and it allows you to reactivate Celestial Conduits once you start channeling, which on its turn is going to call all four Celestials and they're going to perform their special move, whether if it's shields, healing or reducing your cooldowns. This one is actually quite powerful and I would just let my Celestial Conduits finish channeling and then it would cast automatically at the end. However, double pressing it at the start is going to give you some burst of healing in the beginning of the channel which could be crucial because as you can see from the footage in this situation my warrior was quite low when I started channeling and they died although the healing went out but if I double press my button they would probably live. So overall this is pretty nice addition to the whole spec and it makes everything click and feel even better. Unfortunately not everything is perfect, there are a few questionable notes, for example this one. It's a choice that either lets you extend the duration of the refreshing Jade Wind or gain one once you summon Chiji or Yuan. The problem is, this is a skill that you don't really want to use in M+, because it's a melee skill and usually you don't have a stacked melee group in dungeons. And before we talk about raiding, your defensive node choices are also not that great compared to some of the other hero talents. You can either get damage reduction while you're channeling your Celestial Conduit, which is questionable because do you even need damage reduction during that? It's very powerful already. Or you can further buff your fortifying brew, but that's also a very strong defensive already, so getting an absorb shield on top of it, yes, it's nice, but is it really that helpful is the question. And by the way, we didn't mention this, but you don't have Damp and Harm already, it's only for Defined Brew, this is basically your main defensive now. And at the end, all things considered, this seems to be great in Mythic Plus, but it's questionable how it's going to perform in raids. Your Celestial Conduit only heals 5 targets, no matter what you do with it, and although you'll be getting all the other benefits from the other Celestials all the time, even possibly refreshing Jade Wind from that node that I showed you, Somehow that doesn't feel enough and it doesn't convince me that you'll be able to pump in a raid environment. I might be wrong though as I haven't tested this but also keep in mind that the other hero talents Master of Harmony kinda seem to be leaning more towards the raid. So it's quite possible that in the monk's case we see a clear separation, Conduit of the Celestials is going to be pretty strong in Mythic Plus and Master of Harmony is probably going to be much better in raid. Make sure to check my video on the Master of Harmony Hero Talents as well as the other healing specs hero talents. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Now get out of here.